What in the world is this? Game Maker's text renderer sucks. How did you do that? Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite and welcome back to another Game Maker video. This is an extremely useful utility that I have uh, found over th several years of using Game Maker. And it is for drawing text in Game Maker Studio 2. And it does precisely what you see on the screen here. Um, if you were to try to do something like this in regular old GML using the regular old draw text function, it would it would be a very big pain in the neck to write, and it would take a very long time to get working, and it would probably be very, very slow because GameMaker's built-in draw text function does indeed suck. Fortunately, someone else already did all this work so that we don't have to. His name is Juju Adams of Hyperlight Drifter fame and some other things in the GameMaker community. And uh, he made this little tool called Scribble, which I'm going to talk about in this video, and probably one more video at least after this. So, um, if you want to do this yourself, which you probably do because it, it's because it's um, quite versatile as far as drawing text goes, and it can do a, quite a number of things that you, as I said, would be a big pain in the neck with regular GML. I'm going to start out over here in its Git repository. Uh, it's just github.com slash jujuadam slash scribble. Um, if you don't feel like typing that into your address bar, I'll have a, dis a link in the description of this video. Um, currently, as of my recording this video, it is on version 502. If you're watching this deep in the future, it may be on version something else. Uh, I'm going to come over here to releases. If you want to, you can just uh, you can just clone the repository. If you're if you're one of the cool kids and you, and you know how to use Git, you can just clone the repository. Otherwise, come over here to releases. Uh, there's Scribble 502. There's also Scribble Lite, which is um, it's the same thing. It's all free. None of this costs money, which I'm sure uh, everyone will be very happy about. And you can just come over here and download Scribble, whatever the the most current version is. And this will this will dump a, a YYMP file on your computer. So that's a game maker asset file, and you can uh, you can come and import that into um, a project that you're currently working on, or or an empty project. I'm going to be using an empty project right now. And where is it? It is in my downloads folder, Scribble 502. YYMP, and that should uh, that should take a moment to extract. I'm going to. I'm going to ask it to import everything. There we go. Let's try and import this. And I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to save that as Scribble 502. And this should give me a, uh, a number of, of assets. There are a couple shaders, a couple scripts, and there is nothing else because this is just the shaders and the scripts. If you want to demo or something, I do believe in the, uh, in the actual repository, there are, um, some demo, some options, some demo objects. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about those. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna start this from scratch. So let's go create a new room. I'm gonna call it Room Zero because it's very important that you name your rooms uh, and, and assets properly. I'm gonna also create an object. Let's call that Object Zero because it's also very important that you name your assets properly. And I'm going to uh, I'm gonna start adding code. Let's see, I have to make the text bigger every time I sit down to record one of these one of these videos. Don't I? So in order to use Scribble in your project, you have to do a little bit of setup. And that's going to take the form of scribble in it. And this takes a couple arguments. One is the font directory. I'll save the technical details of this for later, probably, but as I said a minute ago, or at least I hope I said a minute ago, uh, this does take a little bit of work to set up. I'm going to create a font. Let's call it font zero because it's very important that you name your resources properly. And I'm going to not make this the default Arial font because the default Arial font annoys me. Um, I think, uh, I think in the, the demonstration I had at the beginning, I was using um, like the Super Mario Sunshine Delfino thing. And I happen to actually unironically like that font, so I'll go and use that. Let's make it size 32 so it's nice and big. Okay, that is font zero. So once you have your font created in the, uh, in the, in the fonts resources, that's actually not all you need to do. You need to actually add the font resource itself as an included file. If you don't know how to do that, if you don't know how Game Maker Studio projects are put together, um, this is how. In the project folder, in the folder where you save the project, uh, you should have scribble502.yyp or whatever your Game Maker project is named. Uh, there is a folder called fonts, and there will be a list of folders, one for each font that you have added to your, your Game Maker project. Um, I'm going to go with font zero. Okay, that's actually going to get really confusing, so let me name this to something that's a little bit more helpful. All right, that's a little bit more helpful. Anyway, um, where were we? Uh, Scribble 502, fonts, F Delfino. 
And then the one that you want is fdelfino.yy. I have a I have a notepad plus plus icon. There will also be an image file in this folder containing the uh, basically a sprite sheet of all the characters in the font. If you don't have file extensions turned on in Windows Explorer, I highly suggest you do that for reasons that extend beyond GameMaker. Anyway, go ahead and add fdelfino.yy to uh, to your included files. Okay, cool. And just for the sake of organization, because I've, I'm clearly concerned with that, um, let's let's uh, drag this into a subfolder called fonts. And that brings us back to scribble in it. And the font directory is going to be the folder inside the included files folder. Included files folder. That sounds wrong somehow, but I can't quite put my finger on why. And you're going to need the name of the default font. Hey. And it's going to take the name as a string. It's not going to take the resource name. Can it take the resource name? Okay, it looks like it actually can take a, a just a game maker resource instead of a string. I'm going to pass it a string anyway. The last argument is auto scan. Scribble needs to be told what fonts it can use before it can use them. To make that easier for it, you can just tell it to automatically scan the fonts folder. An included file is this thing here for um, for font files. And in most cases, that's good enough, and you won't need to really do anything else. In the event that you want to manually tell Scribble what fonts that it should look for, you can turn auto scan off, and you can tell it to add fonts um, individually with the Scribble add font function. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to leave auto scan to true. After this, I'm going to uh, I'm going to open up Room Zero my impressively named room zero, and I'm going to add this little demo object in it. And after that, I'm going to come back over here, go into the draw event, or if you really want to, the draw GUI event, and I'm going to say scribble draw. And this is going to take an X position. We'll make it 32, 32. An X position and a Y position. So that'll be approximately the upper left corner of the screen. And it will take the string that we want to draw. And um, I'm not going to do anything super fancy with all kinds of crazy colors like I did in the demo quite yet. Uh, first, I'm going to draw some basic text. What's good basic text? This is like the worst part of making Game Maker videos is coming up with um, text that you want to draw on the screen for demonstration purposes. Uh, this is text that I want to draw. Boy, that was easy. So if you're looking closely, you might notice that this does mirror the built-in GameMaker draw text function. If you were to use uh, just draw text, you would see that it as well takes uh, an X coordinate, a Y coordinate, and some text to draw. And if I were to run the game, it would take a minute to compile the shaders the first time you do it. Uh, that is running off the screen, and maybe that's okay, and it, it I, I should probably set the... Uh, Hmm. All right, this will, if they at least use the same font, it'll be a better comparison. And my cell phone is ringing with an unknown number, which I am not picking up. Is it really beyond, like, the universe to stop calling my cell phone when I'm trying to record Game Maker stuff? God. I swear, why do I even own a cell phone? Anyway, congratulations. These two, these two pieces of text look exactly the same, and the... the th there are no fancy text effects or anything that I promised you in the beginning of this, of this video. We'll get to that. So Scribble, for its markup languages, and I'm going to maximize this code window so that um, there's just a little bit more space, because I'm probably going to be working mostly in this code window. Scribble uses the markup language. No, I don't care that you left me a voicemail. Uh, Scribble uses its own markup language, sort of. Um, if you're familiar with uh, things such as Markdown or BB code, that word might have meaning to you. Hey. If not, you can think of it as a set of commands that you can insert into the text string that won't be drawn, but will affect the way that, um, that it looks. So you have things like color, you have things like you can change the font on the fly, which is pretty cool. Um, as I showed off in the little, uh, the little demonstration, you can even embed images in it. I'm going to start off with something simple. Let's go to, let's make some of the letters, how about yellow? Cause I like yellow. And, Oops. And some of the letters... What's another, what's another nice color? 
Green's kind of a nice color. I like green. And I can uh, cancel the color with the slash C command. Okay, before I talk more about this, I'll just show off what it does real fast. Okay, that still flows off the screen and I should probably add a line break or something. I'm pretty sure text, uh, Scribble can do automatic text wrapping on its own if you ask it to, but for now I will just use the line break character. There we go. That's pretty nice, we're getting somewhere. Um, there's uh, there's multicolored pieces of text. Um, as you saw before, you can do some other effects. If you were to go back into the Scribble Draw function and look at the, uh, the, the comments at the top of the script, you can see that there are some other things you can do. There's Wave, Shake, and Rainbow. I really like uh, waving and rainbow for the purposes of getting the attention of the reader. So let's, um, I'll cancel the color here and uh, the demonstration purposes piece can be waving rainbows. I don't believe it matters what order you cancel the, uh, the markup tags. In Scribble. So you could cancel the rainbow first and then the wave, or you could cancel the wave first and then the rainbow. And unlike in something like HTML, which nobody cares about anymore, um, it would not make a difference. But anyway, we can um, we can run this again, and the, the words demonstration purposes will be waving rainbows, so that's pretty cool. As you can see, except for colors, you can also combine tags. You could do the waving effect on its own, or you could do the rainbow effect on its own. If you want to be really attention-grabbing, you could also say, uh, shake which I mentioned a minute ago. Although I personally find this a little bit hard to read because it's, it's I mean, it's, it's a little hard to read things that are shaking like that. That's not too bad. I personally think the sine wave is enough movement to get your attention anyway, and the rainbow just kind of ensures that without needing to make the letters jump around like in, in shake. So you have probably noticed by now that all of the, all of the fancy colors and all the effects are being drawn in one single scribble draw call. If you tried to do this yourself, even without the rainbow effect and the, the shake and the wiggle and stuff, you would have to do all kinds of annoying math using loops and the string width function and that sort of thing to make all this text appear to be on the same line. While when you're using scribble, you only have to, um, you can specify the color in line and have it uh, be handled automatically. This is not a sponsored video, I swear. This is just a text renderer that I happen to really like. There is a good number of other things you can do with Scribble, but I want to wrap this up and not have a video that goes on forever. So I'll just talk about what I what I consider to be the most exciting one and save the rest of the stuff for some other day. Um, I'm going to make a copy of Sprite's Cake. That sounds really gross. Cake made out of Sprite, like the soda. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm just going to insert SPR Cake in here, and. Um, yeah, okay, come on, Game Maker. Why is the Game Maker image editor so bad? Okay, we'll do this the hard way. Um, I'm just going to, uh, let's see, import the file from my, uh, uh, sprites from my demo project, SPR Cake. And that's the sprite. Yes, I know this is not an undoable action. I also don't care. So we now have a sprite, and we can draw that in line with the rest of the text in Scribble. Um, let's see, this is a 32 by 32 sprite. That should be good enough. Sprites that are of sizes that are drastically different from the font size can start to look a little weird. But this is good enough for me. So I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to insert cake. Which also sounds interesting when I say it out loud. I'm going to insert it into random places in the, um, in the, the Scribble string. Uh, here, here looks good. And we'll run the game again, and there will suddenly be cake in between some of the, uh, some of the words. Okay, excellent. And I see the sprite is aligned to the top of the text, which isn't quite what I want, but hey, I don't feel like messing with the sprite origin right now. So this can be handy if you want to do something along the lines of the first thing that comes to my mind is in Super Mario Galaxy, whenever Rosalina says the word Bowser. Um, a little sprite of Bowser's face appears in the text. So if you want to insert icons like that in the middle of a text string, or maybe you have a, your character talking to a, an NPC shop vendor, and you want to display a special character for the currency symbol instead of the regular dollar bill or pound or yuan or whatever, and uh, you have a sprite 
containing the currency symbol and you want to insert that into text. You can do things like that. You can also have the, uh, the shake effects or the color effects or even I think the rainbow effects applied to the sprite. And it will be most apparent if the sprite is white because of the way color blending works. But you can do it with sprites that have other colors as well. It just won't be as a, it just won't be as a noticeable. But now we have a rainbow dancing cake. And I can now cross the line that says say those words out loud in a YouTube video off my, off my bucket list. Okay, that's the basics of Scribble. There are, um, there are way more things you can do as I think I mentioned in terms of both text and technical things using the Scribble text renderer. But if I talk about them all here, this video is going to be like an hour long and nobody's going to watch it. For now, my name is Dragonite. This has been an introduction to Scribble. I want to have something that looks cool on the screen to end the video, so I'm going to do the, like, the Aperture Science song. The Still Alive song. And I'm just going to leave this here when I stop talking. I'm not going to make any of my own code available for download in the description of the video this time. Instead, I'd like to encourage people to get the scription shaders and the demo stuff from Juju's GitHub repository because that will contain the most up-to-date information. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy that. I hope you all have a really fun time putting this in your game because I sure did. I repeat, this is not sponsored, I swear, and I will see you all later.